Black Lives Matter. The Black Lives Matter movement. All Black Lives Matter. Shocking case of an unarmed African-American man. Biggest gathering London has seen in weeks. Protests breaking out in Atlanta over the deadly police shooting of an African-American man outside a fast food restaurant. Black Lives Matter. 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 This is our world in 2020. Maybe you're not quite as good as everyone else, but you know, they need a black person around. Being the only black person in the room. The black woman was never a symbol of beauty. If you don't believe that racism exists or you don't see any white privilege, keep watching because education is the first key to understanding. So today we're taking a look at African-American history. This is a big deal. And it's so important that we all continue to listen and learn from one another because we can all be better. A journal entry describing the sale of 20 and odd Angolans by Portuguese symbolically marks the beginning of the slave trade industry in 1619. Over the course of this 400 plus year period, approximately 13 million Africans would be kidnapped from parts of Western and Central Africa. The healthiest and most able men and women were a cheaper labor option for the sugar, cotton, tobacco, coffee, and rice industries in the Americas. Ships were built to hold hundreds of slaves at a time, and they were stacked as cargo rather than humans. Millions of slaves would die on their journey. The slave trade would create the most significant transport of a racial group for the sole means of labor and enslavement. These generations of slaves would birth the first generations of African Americans. Consisting of endless backbreaking labor, beatings for discipline and entertainment, mutilation, hanging, branding, lynching, mass slaughter, rape, followed by seizure and selling of children. Slavery finally came to an end with the conclusion of the Civil War fought between the Union and the Confederacy. The establishment of the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment would abolish slavery, making it illegal nationwide. Reconstruction was met with resistance in the form of the institution of Jim Crow law in the American South by white Democrats. Now Jim Crow law was a set of legal principles that was meant to disenfranchise and remove any and all political and economic gain made by African Americans during the Reconstruction era. It also created the doctrine of racial segregation. Legalized racial segregation led to massive socioeconomic disparities between blacks and whites. Another 50 years of racial segregation, oppression, and violence would follow due largely in part to the extreme differences in political representation, education, and wealth within the black community and setbacks inherited through slavery. A main tenet of the Jim Crow era was the depiction of black people as subhuman, animalistic, dumb, and promiscuous. Ridiculed for our curvy bodies, big lips, big noses, vernacular, taste in food, and music, and often compared to apes and other jungle animals, and considered barbaric. TV shows, comics, newspapers were all meant to degrade, belittle, and demean the African American race as a whole. This relegation to second-class citizenry came in many forms through the 1960s. Things such as voter suppression, redlining, gerrymandering, blockbusting, and lynching all aided in the assurance that African Americans were never to gain equality in the United States. For example, many states would invoke grandfather clauses. These clauses meant that someone was not eligible to vote unless their grandfather was allowed to vote. This meant that many free African Americans did not qualify to vote because their grandfathers were more often than not a slave or a child born into slavery. Redlining prevented black hopeful homeowners from getting finance to purchase homes and land. 
banks and mortgage lenders would take out maps and mark off in red areas that they would not lend money. These areas would become many of the present day ghettos. Gerrymandering would allow the redrawing of political district lines to change the constituency within a certain district. This would ensure a certain outcome to voting, including whites and excluding blacks or vice versa. Many of these gerrymandered districts still exist today, with one of the starkest examples just changing in 2016. Lynching is premeditated mob killing of African Americans often characterized by public beatings, hangings, and burning of African Americans as crowds watched. The fear of racial equality manifested violently. In Tulsa, 35 blocks were burned completely to the ground and 39 people died in total while the entire town of Rosewood was burnt completely to the ground. Though the end of slavery was an overwhelming victory, we see that there was still much to be done if racial equality was ever going to be a thing. This moment is critical. That's why it's so important that we open our ears and eyes and that they remain open to increase that awareness. Because if we think about it, none of this was really that long ago and we're still in the midst of it, right in the middle of it as we speak. The next episode looks into the civil rights movement. We also look at the present day fitness industry and how a lot of these events are reflected in what you see today. Thank y'all for watching.